I have a lot of us to change religion real quick. Hello. Amen. Now, now we're here. Remember, Santa said that this has got to happen. One man should die for the nation. Came with his own, his own received him not, but two as many as would. I come in as the would. I come in as the whosoever. Glory to God. I, I, I preach in conventions and fellowship. Uh, I remember when I first started out as a young one, uh, it, it was uh, this one and that. And I, I was the youngest member of the Voice of Healing, uh, and, and my name had come up right on the bottom. I remember when it started to move it up uh, because I got tired of being in others. But here this says that he came in his own and his own received him not, but to as many as would. I remember one day, one Sunday morning, said, I would, God, I would. I, I'm tired of all of, of the sin. I'm tired of the destruction. I'm tired of the bewilderment. I, I will. And you know what he said? Come unto me, all ye that are weak and weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. I will be your vicarious sacrifice. Amen. We're still trying to offer ourselves. We well, don't want us to die. He don't want us to be whipped up and beat to death. He wants us to be a living sacrifice. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. And not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one. The children of God which were scattered abroad. Then from that day forth they took counsel for together to put him to death. They took counsel from that day to put him to death. For one should die for the people. Now remember what we're talking about. And God shall provide. And what you said provide means uh, to get ready beforehand. God got ready beforehand. Before Adam and Eve sinned, God got ready. God knows everything. He made a mistake when he made man. He said he did. Three different times. He said, look at him. I'm going to destroy him over the face of the earth. But God made ready for the redemption of mankind. Genesis, the third chapter, 15th and the 16th verse. For the seed of the woman. Let's listen to the conversation that God had concerning preparations that God made beforehand. The Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou curse above all cattle and above every beast of the field upon the belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. And it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Met preparations before time. You know when Jesus was crucified? The Bible said before the foundations of the world. And they're not talking about the earth, the, the, the matter, uh, the solar system. I'm talking about human government. Look it up for yourself. There's three different terms in the Greek and Hebrew. They're talking about the kingdoms of this world. Before the kingdoms of this world were established, Jesus Christ was already crucified. God had made preparation. God had provided. He said, the woman is going to bring forth the seed of man, and the man-child is going to put his foot on the serpent's head. These are not just little stories to tell. This is preparation for Easter. It's an understanding that God has provided through a vicarious suffering, a propitiation, an atonement for our sin. That's not what the Bible teaches us. In Hebrews 11, 39 and 40. Hebrews 11, 39 and 40. All of you know what? the 11th chapter of Hebrews is all about. 
by people of faith. Most people call it the faith chapter. But it talks about what people accomplished when they had faith in God. Hebrews 11 chapter in the 38th verse. And these all having obtained a good report. Glory to God. It, it, it's good that we have a good report. Hallelujah. It, it, Bible said, beware when all men speak evil of you. Amen. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to beware of it. But it said here that these all have been obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise. I, I enjoy some of these high TV preachers that holler. It's about to come. It's about to get here. It's going to bust through just any moment. Send your money. We're going to have it. Oh, no, no, it, it happened before.